Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy Brave X3S. Today, let's talk about the next free unit after Lightning, guys. My prediction is for this man right here from Type O Final Fantasy, Tenacidius, Warrior Machina, guys. So who is he? Is he good or bad? Let's have a look together, guys. So basically, Machina, we all know he is incredible breaker. And now he come with event reward, which is super free. All right, I hope it's super free on this. And he have a chaining family of boarding style. Okay, as you can see, you have a Esther, Rebecca. These two just get awakening update. All right, and the rest, as you can see, the tank that he can go with that can chain with him is Lilius and Barrier. Okay, uh, this chick can do Pisco and Magic. This one, I think, is Magic only, so you can take them. They are reliable even today, in my opinion. And the less is most of them, right, is limited edition. So I would say this boarding style family is a dead family, guys. So I have to say, is I have to give a seven. I have to give a seven on this. It's really, really, oh, uh, un, ah. Uh, Man, since Esther come out, we hope that when she get upgrade, she's gonna be incredible, right? Because she is like like the martyr of boarding style and she really good when she come out, when she came out and today she just like oh man, not that good at all. But is she usable? She is usable and she's really strong. I think Kumi don't want to upgrade her to to be super strong because she become over powerful. Maybe at Neo Vision that she will keep we become um uh, really strong again but we don't know guys we don't even know however uh dark volitas got buff and if she, if she goes seven star i would love that really really much gumi she's still my favorite collector ribeta ah, good but not good enough all right she also uh, one of my old favorite as well but compared to this two she is my best waifu man in this game Except A2, uh, but I don't think A2 will get revived anytime soon. Alright, so uh, in conclusion, frame, uh, Shaming Family is really, really bad. I shake, not no one good at all. But I don't know the future, though. Who's gonna use Brothing Strike? I shake in Japan, not many, but I don't know. Alright, next is her TMI and Super TMI. Her, his TMI is a sword, and we should get this for free as well from the event. Okay, 151, not shabby at all with 30 MP and enable dual, which usually today in 7 star standard and I think in even new vision, if you use dual, you will get dual weapon. Okay, dual weapon, uh, dual passive, I mean. Right, so this is like kind of meh to me, not that interesting. However, guys, it's super. Okay, attack 333 is not that much. Defend 38, not that much. Spirit 44 is kind of nice. Okay, this one is nice. And increase attack by 50% when you equip with sword. Man, I thought at first this suck. And I check, there is only one item. This comes from Fate, Super Tima, and he limited edition from Star Ocean. That I think Fate do 38. And then 50% on sword. I almost eat Fate to get this Super Tima. Or put Super Mugo on it, okay? So, this thing is OP, okay? This kind of mer, this one is OP, so I give it 10. Like always, guys, it's free unit. I have to give it 10 because this thing is really powerful, okay? This is not, but this one can give it like 11 or 12 because it's a limited edition equivalent. It's only 5 points. It's not like, not gonna break the world, guys, okay? Next is his status, okay? 4760 is not that high, it's decent for your breaker. Um, MP216, if you equip with his TMI, you don't even run out of MP. Attack 208 is kind of low for damage dealer, but it's good enough. Defend is incredible good, guys, so he's go really well into defend fight. However, right, magic we don't care. Spirit 169 is too way too low in my opinion. Standard should be like 170, 180. But if you go like too high, he's like, 
he gonna beat everyone, man. CG lead coming out, you know, um, who is it? The chick that we got just got, you know, last week. Oh, no, this week cannot compare with him, man. So um, they have to make something bad on him, okay? So it's it's gonna be spirit. So I give it eight on status. Next, all right. Let's have a look at this. This is um in Japan FFBE equipped. Thank you FFBE equipped. All right, I just you know get everything the best that I can by auto. So there might be something better. However, if you can see right. With full set of uh, Dark Ragnarok, which we will get like in like 8 months or 10 a year, alright, he can go up to 3,874, 3, okay, with full, full build, and he can have one slot open, I give it 9, because normally, right, when you have Doom Builder, if you have a good one, you only need 1, 2, 3, you only need uh, 8 items, you have 2 slot open, one you can put for more HP or defense and Spirit, alright, and you can put one killer effect, but as you can see, even even then, right? He have 15k of HP, all right. 900 in magic, 138 for attack, 1000 for defend. Spirit only 6 600 is really low, but it's it's quite high for today's standard. Which if if he come out as I predict after lightning, maybe in two more weeks. We don't even need Vanille, man. Okay, and look at this, guys. He have killer effect as well from um, I think demon and machine, and I think this one from human from like some of the equipment. We don't really care. All right, and he have passive of blind, um, confused. He need a uh, uh, paralyzed and um, stone. Okay, petrify. Right, so you need to put one equip one item here to fix it. All right, and you need one killer, so it's kind of right. We'll run out of pass passive TMR, so I give it nine. But overall, the status is really cool at end game. This is all super TMR, guys. Don't don't go go all out crazy. That X, I don't have all those, but it's good enough. And you can see if you go to end game, and someday you will get some all of this because the Neo Vision is come out, and they give a lot of five star guys. So you will get all of this in like. A year or something okay just do 10 rainbow all the time you might get them all right next let's talk about his ability his ability is simple as you can see they're not much okay they're not much and they give it 10 why let's have a look he has billion of do cast okay and he can use triple cast on his cooldown ability however if there is no other way I believe if you did Okay, it will reset on your triple cast, I think, when you auto revive him. However, the cooldown ability is locked on his triple cast. So this is this is his downfall. If you want to chain three times, make sure him survive. You might you might build him as um like full support with high HP, high defense and spirit, and ignore all the attack. It might go that way. Alright. Next is combat. He have to um, combat ability that is useful is imbue fire and lightning on his weapon and he can do impend as well for both fire and lightning as well guys both can go down to 120 percent for one turn then for the next three turn it's one down to 100 so it's really good guys you can do cast this you can you can go impen first and then imbue this and the next turn just go massive damage okay next is the key ability guys is this one this is the most amazing ability for me all right is first thing first he removed this spell all status from the boss from the enemy then he will break for 70 percent for full break guys this is incredible powerful normally right if you go to the boss even like dark vision today you have to dispel boss first by your um your healer then you will break otherwise your team gonna be dead right but with machina he can just dispel break in one hit in one eye in one skill and then you can use something else you can do chain after that and everything back to normal this is incredible and powerful guys Oh, incredible and powerful. Next, he even have like, he can even heal himself because he have this that he do damage and heal 1% of the damage. Okay, he do like 100 million. 1% is just like full. 
full HP. Incredible, guys. Next, he have two of the defensive skills that I would like to talk about is mitigate physical damage and mitigate magic damage at 30%. This remind me of who? Sylvie, Emperor Fu. Okay. And normal medication is on tank anyway, so he is one of the best support in the game. It's 30% is good enough, it's, it's, you don't need like 40%, but with like 50% from your tank or from your support, and then another 30, 30, oh man, it's gonna be amazing. So I give him 10 out of 10 from synergy with your team, okay? Machina is incredible support guys. At first I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna want lead, Esper lead, I want um, Esper Vanille, and when I see this, I'm like, no, no, no. Oh, one flaw though. All this, single target. <laughs> That's the only flaw. However guys, I still give it 10 because no one have this kind of ability as I know. This spell and break at the same time. Alright, next let's talk about cooldown ability. Why? Why put this in? Because it's so powerful, guys. Okay, so this one kind of alright is heal himself and increase attack and increase attack of 30 times multiply. And look at this, guys. Increase multiply for 20 times to his normal ability. Alright, most of his normal ability get 20 times for one turn. So basically, this ability costs limit burst and do 30 times multiply and then he have one of the ability that do 20 times multiply right so if you cast this before you cast the that ability it's go to 40 so it's 40 40 that 80 you plus 30 that's 110 in one turn right this is like massive burst guys king edgar not even come close on the damage from machina next is the key one so i put this emoji on it's like oh oh one as well i'm like i'm skip this and like increase evocation gauge for 10 increase limit burst gate for 40 to all allies remove all status effect for caster and inflict unresisted death to caster for one turn <laughs> so basically he killed himself on the first turn so what does that mean okay you see i have emperor fool and i put like 200 bucks on it to get this, okay, to get limit burst to everyone to fool on the first turn. So guys, many of you ask me, hey X, how you get first turn limit burst to everyone? I use Emperor Fool and I spent 200 bucks. And now you get a free machina that do almost the same thing. But make sure your team doesn't have over, um, over 40 stone though. So 40 is really, really high, except like Noctis and those like crazy people that have like 50 or 100, it will not work. But usually 90% of the roster will cover this. Imagine you get full gauge of evocation as well. Oh man, and he, he did on the first turn, doesn't matter guys. You can break, break, break first, okay? Then you you give all the buff to your team and then you put limit burst and you just boom first turn everything die. Incredible. So I give this 11. Okay, because I spent 200 bucks for Emperor Fu to get all this ability. You get it for free. But trade off he died. Though. Doesn't matter, just rewind him. Okay? But what does that mean though? If he permanently dead, that's another story, guys. Okay, if he permanently dead, cannot come back. It's gonna be bad, but it's only four turn cooldown. So you can use this every four turn, man. Incredible, incredible cooldown ability. Right. Next, let's have a look at his limit burst, guys. Okay. First thing first, he's buff himself with two hundred percent. He enabled triple gas for six turn. Oh, dang. All right, and he have decreased attack, defense, magic, and spread basically full break by eighty percent for one turn to all enemy. Incredible guys, and his damage is 40, 54 times multiplied to our enemy as well. Put one lion heart on it, it become 108 time multiply. And he is the dual wheeler. He do I'm pretty sure guys with his limit burst, he do damage than most of your collector today. Most of them, some of them, 
All right, some of them, not most of them. Okay, some of them after clown, uh, AC clown, AC Tifa. I think they are worse than him, man. All right, so he is incredible. However, this break only one turn is similar to Edgar, so you have to build him like limit burst build as well. So it's he he require a lot a lot of. Um, Super Chiyama or a lot of good item as well guys so I give it's only 9 because it's only one turn I wish it's go to like two turn or three turn it would be nice but we'll see guys if they fix it but I don't think they fix any free collector because they they they're good enough and they are really really good in my opinion okay so overall how good is he what is what do I give him for the raid so first thing first he is free when you need reward again is a good are we good six time multiply on his do wheel really good he can do decent damage on fire and lightning a uh, thunder i mean and implant 120 percent on fire and thunder as well full break with 70 percent on single target and aoe 80 percent on limit burst bad chaining firmly this is his downfall he can mitigate physical and magic to our allies, which you have to use to ability. So he is like um support and damage. You can you can pick whatever you want, man. If you want to go support, build him support, full HP, full limit burst build. If you want to do damage and you know just put some attack on, you know the drill. Okay? And I would say he got at utility, guys. He is synergy really well with your team, with any team. Except if you find a boss that have more than one collector, you might have a problem because he don't have AOE damage at all. This is his downfall. This is his downfall. Otherwise, it's going to be OP. Okay, um, they cannot sell other breaker. Other breaker can do AOE and stuff that can chain. Now today, okay, like lit that coming soon. She, of course, she's better than him. But for free, he is better than her. Okay, and 80% limit burst for one turn. All right, this one turn is also a downfall. All right, 80% on full break. Okay, I didn't put it in. And he have demon and machine killer. So overall, I give him 9.1 on his rating, guys. Overall, he's really, really good. Is he usable until Neo Vision, in my opinion, because he is support. You can use him from today and tomorrow. I hope he come though. I don't think I wish. It, I don't think Gumi will will remove him from uh, event reward because he's really really nice. And you don't even need to pull for today when you, if you have him, it's good enough. But if you find a boss that have like two or three collector, you will have big problem. You need something else. You need lit or something. Okay, that that better than him. All right. So anyway, guys. That's it for me. I hope you enjoy TW Machina. It's really good. Tell me what you think in the comment down below, guys. And thank you for watching, for the time that you take to watch my videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And you guys take care, guys. In US, I heard the news. So be careful out there. Be good. Don't go out. Be safe. All right? Be, be, be safe, guys. Protect yourselves at all time. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Bye-bye, guys.